So here we are again with another trouble shooter from WordPress. Always WordPress, WordPress. And as you can see here, this is a plugin uh, WordPress Social Nina, and it is ugly. And we have to resolve that. What happens? So when we are going to the um, websites, then we have installed WordPress Ninja and also uh, hides my WordPress ghost. And that is the troubleshooter in this case. So it's a, in this file, I already made tutorials about this file. This is a very important file in the in uh, WordPress. ATGC, or you call it. And then when you are going to the text editor, then you can see that there are a lot of lines and rules that has been written by WordPress Hide My Ghost. And it must be something with the CSS class or, or the caching. Let's see. Um, we scroll down and we see here the CSS. So it uh, has changed the CSS class, it protects it, but a little bit too much. So uh, when we are going to uh, ignore, delete this, let's try it. And I don't think that it's going to work. Mm. Let's just delete it. And let's see if it works this way. And we're going to refresh the page. Um, I don't think that it works. Oh yeah, it works. So this is the that is the problem. So um, when you are installing a plugin, you must be aware that sometimes it adds rules in this document, and um, when it has added the rules, then you can get yourself in problems. And even if you remove the plugin, so uh, then you think, okay, I will remove it, and then the problem will be solved. And that is not always the case, because the uh, rules, they just keep on standing in the maps, in the WordPress maps, in the root of the, of the WordPress map. So that can be the problem. And uh, I already told you that uh, when you are getting yourself in so much problem that you can resolve it, then go to the WordPress Society and just copy the line. And uh, it's uh, the E T T S uh, the E T E C C E S S and then uh, copy and paste the default rule. So in this case, uh, WordPress Hide My Ghost is not compatible with uh, all the plugins. And uh, you must also uh, look for the, um, the, the fr frequent asked questions or, of, or you have to contact the support and then they can tell you if the plugin is compatible. And what also can be the problem is, for example, the PHP. If, let's see if we can find it. Domains. And we go into the websites. And then we go into the PHP settings. And then you can uh, see if uh, you might, you, you, uh, most of the cases is not that you have to do the latest ver version because that can cause problems. So uh, one step, and then uh, you can see if the memory limits uh, are uh, enough. And when you uh, want to uh, upload, for example, Elementor Pro, then you must increase the upload maximum upload file size. Now this is a little bit too much. You can also do it with 20, but when it stands on two or, or, or the default is two, then uh, Elementor won't upload. So yeah, that can be uh, the problem in, uh, in the WordPress. And uh, you can also, uh, th that's the reason why you always should 
make a backup for before you install a plugin. You know, um, you can uh, do it with a WordPress reset. So when you go into the website and WordPress reset, and this is a plugin that can make snapshots. So uh, when you are downloading that, then you can make snapshots. Uh, now that that is not a backup, but what it does is just make a little a little backup, a kind of a backup. And then when um, something goes wrong with installing the plugin, then you can roll it back. And if you uh, are, are want to clean the the database, then you can use something from database cleaner beta no, wait, wait maybe I can find it here mm -hmm. and then you can use for example this plugin and um, but be aware of it because it can also uh, cause you a, a lot of problems when you don't don't do it right maybe i will make a tutorial for that as well i know that other people are already made tutorials but i don't think that they explain everything uh, the way they should but i'm going to make a tutorial for that as well so guys i see you in the next tutorial and be aware of installing plugins and the scripts that they're adding in your wordpress environment and especially the files See you next time.